Hi guys, Eunice, and I'm here today on a Thursday. It's about one o'clock, and I'm here to give you some herbal knowledge. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a plant, and we use the root for herbal medicine. The plant is called angelica root. Uh, angelica root is one of the uh, herbs that I consider a powerful herbal medicine because it does so many things and it treats so many um the hard uh, medical issues or and common medical issues that we do have that are a little bit more severe than the normal common colds okay angelica root um is used for uh, heartburn it's also used for uh, intestinal gas uh, it's also used for um urination problems uh, it's also used in dementia nervousness uh, it's also used in strokes uh, it's also used in arthritis so that's the reason why I said that this you know herb is so powerful because usually when you have arthritis you have dementia you have uh, strokes these are serious and severe illnesses and so far where angelica root helps and all that so also too a lot of young ladies use angelica root for minister cramps or minister problems i put it that way so but anyway this is a powerful herb uh, usually this herb comes in two different two formulations it comes in a herbal capsule and it comes in an herbal tonic um we recommend or i recommend uh, an herbal tonic um which is great for this because it goes down fast and it starts to uh take over fast with the healing process and so forth so this is a good herb to have around if you have any of those uh issues and things like that um normal okay uh heartburn and uh intestinal gas are serious or can be serious illnesses and things like that nervousness anxieties and things like that can be serious but these are some of the lesser illnesses compared to strokes um arthritis and um you know dementia but anyway this herb helps you with all this herb medicine helps you with all of that which again it's the reason why i say it's one of those powerful herbs so let's recap on what this herb has it's a bitter herb uh, as well so that's why i say herbal tonic will be my recommendation if you choose to uh try out this you know herbal medicine we do have it in the four uh two ounce and four ounce you may want to try it out with the two ounce first to see if you like it see if it's going to help you uh do anything for you which i'm sure it's going to do something for you but anyway uh two ounces you can try it out to see before you commit yourself into using it um you know on a four ounce bottle okay so let's recap um as i was about to do let's recap what this herb do and let's you know enjoy and how great this herb is okay this herb is um it helps with heartburn it helps with intestinal gas uh, it also helps with um, um, uh, dementia. It also helps with uh, strokes, arthritis. Uh, it also helps with circulation problems. Uh, it also helps with um, or helps some ladies with menstrual problems and so forth. So I want to make sure I got all of those in again. So in it, uh, as I always say too, when and before you start on herbal regimen do some research uh on that you know before you start herbal regimen and you can seek a healthcare uh provider or herbalist uh you know so that that way can give you more information uh these videos are give are here to give you some quick facts on these herbal medicine and so far some uh to give you some symptoms and some herbs that will help with those symptoms but you know i do um recommend that you do uh, your own research or seek a herbalist or healthcare provider uh before starting an herbal regimen but anyway i appreciate you guys 
stopping by, listening to these herbal knowledge because they are helpful. Uh, and if they cannot help you, uh, please pass it on uh, so that it can help someone else. Uh, you know that it you know may have these issues and things like that. Now we do have um, other herbs who also help with the same things that we just went down the path. You know too. And so far, and that's one of the reasons why it is also good to do some research on the herbal medicine that you're taking and so forth to see which one is right for you um, and everything. And just because one herb, or actually two or maybe three herbs, um, help you with some of the symptoms and so forth, you have to put all your symptoms in and to see which herb is going to help you the most and help you the best and so far. Uh, and thank you until next week. This is Eunice, the herbalist of herbal knowledge. All right, bye.